Hello, this tutorial is meant as a quick guide to best practices for creating and storing student files using the Cranbrook Google Drive. If a student is going to be collaborating on a file or simply needs to do basic uh, word processing, spreadsheet, or presentations, we recommend creating the file directly in Google Drive. You can sign into Google Drive by going to drive.google.com. You'll sign in using your full Cranbrook email address. It should then redirect you to CranNet to finish logging in and take you back here. To create a new file, click the New button and you can quickly create a doc for word processing, sheets for spreadsheets, and slides for a presentation. You can also get into creating forms, drawings, and a variety of other uh, file types that are all supported directly in Google Drive. All of these documents will be edited online and if they're created in Drive, don't need to be saved elsewhere, can be shared quickly between students for collaboration or to teachers for either turning in an assignment, getting feedback, uh, etc. If you wish to save a file that you're creating in another program, say Microsoft Word, uh, Sony Acid Music, or any other school specialty software, you're going to need to first save your file locally. So if I have this Word document here and I wish to add this to my Google Drive, I will first file, save as, and select the desktop. Give it a unique name that I'll be able to find quickly and click Save. Now that the file is on my desktop, I can upload in two methods. I can either click on the My Drive and select Upload Files and select it directly here in the File Explorer. Oops. Or I can drag and drop the icon for the file directly into my folder. This will pr create a copy in whatever folder I drop it in. Release and it will upload. Your Google Drive has unlimited storage space and can handle any kind of file type. Only those file types that are native to Google, shown here, can be opened and edited using the G Suite. However, you can store and download uh, However, you can store, upload, or download any file into your Google Drive. To share a file, simply select the file you wish to use and click the plus pawn icon up here in the right. Google Drive is linked in with our email system, so if you start typing the name of any person, any faculty or student on campus, it will search through and automatically find that person. You can select that and you can add as many people as you like. By default, it's going to give them full edit rights. You can, however, change it to comment only or view if you simply want them to be able to read and not alter your, uh, not alter your file in any way. By default, it'll have a checkbox here to notify and send. When you send, that notification will come through the email, they'll be told that they have, the file has been shared and be given a link directly to it. In order to see a shared file, they'll have to be logged into their Cranbrook Google Drive and not any Gmail, personal Gmail account that they may have. You can also get a shareable link. The shareable link can then be customized to be either a view, edit, or comment. By default it is to view. And this link can be copied and pasted into an email, put onto a, a website, or any other way. Anybody with that link will be able to go in and view whether or not they're logged into the uh, their Cranbrook Drive or not. As always, if you have any questions, please see your librarian. If they're unable to help you, they'll escalate it up to either the help desk or the school's technology office to further assist you.